Okay, okay, you guys. I'm, I'm uploading a video right now responding to that demon Jezebel over there. Um, this is what I want you to, to take from this. I want you to see how she's twisting. She's, she's doing this word salad stuff. I want you to see how she's twisting the words. The whole point of all of this back and forth with her was to protect you guys from the Kundalini and from the tarot and the pendulums. And notice she's not ever addressed those things. She's not ever addressed those things. What she's doing now is talking about the Old Testament and the tarot are the same. And Jesus was a Jew. Um, she did the same thing when she was trying to teach me about Nisargadatta. She's, she's, her ego is so huge. It is so huge. How many lies have I caught this woman in? But she can't help herself. This is a sign. This is the Jezebel spirit. This is a sign. She is so proud and she's got such a humongous ego. She will do whatever it takes to try to stamp me down because she knows I'm right. And how does she know that I'm right? She's not referring to the Bible. She's an expert in the Old Testament, so she says. She, yeah, so she knows that what I read from Deuteronomy was absolute gospel truth. She has never addressed it in all these videos. She has never addressed it. The only thing she can stoop to is calling me crazy, which is her usual smear campaign tactic. That's all she can do. That's all she has. She's pitiful. She's pitiful. And I bind that demon. I bind that demon in the name of Jesus Christ. So these are the things you need to look for. How they appear in the 3D world? Well, they're, they're abusive abusive, malignant, borderline, type 2 psychopaths, and their behaviors are all the same. And for that, I would tell you to go on Sam Vaknin's page and go study what these behaviors are, and you will be able to see who these frauds are out here, these uh, false prophets. This is all they are. They're people that have massive egos that, that want the, uh, the name and fame, want the, uh, the special treatment, want you to send them their money, your money, um, because they think so little of themselves, they have to do whatever they have to do to make everyone think highly of themselves. Okay. She's not spiritual. She's not godly. She does not know Jesus. She does not know the Holy Spirit. She is massively infected with demons. And as she just admitted to, she, she is an expert in the, in the old Testament she's an expert in the Old Testament, then she absolutely knew without a doubt about the Deuteronomy verse, about divination, tarot reading, pendulum use, astrology, and she has lied to every single one of you out here. She just admitted that herself. Now you are understanding what these behaviors are. And all she has to fall back on is to say that I'm crazy. It's, this stuff is really getting old. It's really getting old. So the, the boring. The Nithy and Nanda idiots ring my phone tonight. I was watching a video, uh, Don't Be a Fool and Do This Before You Die. It was a spiritual message about find, you know, finding Jesus before you die. And... They rang my phone at that. So you know what? I, I wrote them a little letter. Don't be a fool and ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior before you die, you fools. Go bully somebody who can't see your brainwashed, ignorant selves. That's all I want to say. Stop calling my house. Stop harassing me. And go get a life. Go get a life. That's really all I want to say. You're all bound. You're all bound. This stuff is just boring me now. You're all a bunch of idiots. You're morons. And everything you do out here proves that 1,000%. Yet you're all here all on my page. Well, why is that demon Jezebel on my page? She don't look at my pages, though. She has told every single one of you all of these years that I'm a lunatic, that I say she watches my videos. She don't watch my videos. She has been pathologically lying to every single one of you out here for years. I hope now you're starting to see it. 
So yes, according to her, she is an expert in the Old Testament. Telling me about Jesus coming to fulfill the Jewish law. And hey, man, I'm it. I'm the I'm all that in a bag of chips, man. She's crazy. She's she's I don't even have words for her. I don't have words for her. The only thing I could say is that God has already taken care of her. That's really all I can say. She does not mess and call uh, the Holy Spirit a liar and think that she's ever going to get away with that. Jesus Christ himself said in the Bible, that is one sin that will never be forgiven. She is damned to hell, and she's done that to herself. No one has cursed her with that. She has done that to herself. So what she says from this point on is irrelevant because she has nothing left to lose. She's lost it all. She has absolutely lost it all. And everything that comes out of her mouth is a bald-faced lie. And she's proving it over and over again. So here she is with um, giving me a, a, a schooling. What a joke. On Old Testament and t on the Torah. And uh, as she is such an expert in the Old Testament, she absolutely knew that divination was an abomination before God. And here she was out here telling all of you not to listen to me, not to listen to the Bible, not to listen to the Holy Spirit. Only listen to her because she's the only one who knows what she's talking about. Okay? And all she has in her bag of tricks is to call me crazy. That's all she has. She's pitiful, isn't she? She's absolutely pitiful.